now with your exams less than a week away i think we need to go over some very important tips from an examination perspective the first one please ensure that you have a proper printout of your examination docket and you carry your identification document which could be your passport your pan your driving license to the examination center the second tip make sure that you read every question thoroughly you read every question end to end read it twice if need be and then proceed to actual solving the question you need to keep one thing in mind that there are places where the acca will trick you for example an objective question might say which of the following is not a feature or which two of the following are features of say the npv method now if you do not pay attention to the not or if you do not pay attention to the two even if you know the concept even if you know the answer you will end up losing out on marks so make sure that you read the question carefully and you understand its requirements now the third tip when you start writing your exam make sure that you read the specific instruction that comes with the question what do i mean by specific instruction sometimes the question will say that calculate the npv but it has to be in thousands or it has to be in millions so make sure that the answer which you are entering is in the format that is expected in the question be very careful about that otherwise even if you know it you will still end up losing crucial marks in your exam the fourth tip now whenever a constructed response question is presented in front of you do not straight away jump into writing the final answer read the requirement first before reading the entire case read the requirement what exactly is the expectation understand that and then read the entire narrative when you read the requirement first your eyes are automatically trained to pick out relevant bits from the question once you pick those up then you can have a better idea of how to approach after this do not straight away jump into solving the question create your mind map maybe list down a couple of important adjustments or a couple of important calculations that will be needed to get the question right once you have made a note of these then proceed to the actual solution i am repeating do not jump into the final answer in one go read the requirement read the narrative make your own mind map and then go and solve the actual question now the sequence of how you approach the exam is also important for your papers which have mcqs i would recommend that you attempt your section a and section b first because in a lesser time you will be able to complete a longer part of the paper so the ideal approach to a paper which has section a b and c is solve a first there will be 15 mcqs take your time you could devote 45 minutes to it finish it off move on to section b around the same time for that part so the calculation in your mind then goes i have finished 60 marks worth of paper in a 90 minute duration now i still have 90 more minutes left or slightly more and i have only 40 marks to take care of so your mind is at peace one of the important aspects you need to pay attention to is keeping yourself calm during the exam if you start with a section c question you want to put your best foot forward you spend an hour solving that entire question your mind will start panicking 60 minutes are done and i have only finished 20 marks worth of the exam so make sure that you plan the sequence properly i am repeating it's not the only way this is a way which has worked with most of our students in the past if at any given point of time with any particular question you feel that the calculation is taking way longer or you have a feeling that i don't see myself arriving at the right solution any time soon leave it for the moment move on to the next question do it well if time permits come back to this one do not spend a disproportionate amount of time for something which might not even be worth those many marks if you are writing your professional exams professional level exams 
there are case studies in your paper make sure that you know or you have understood the requirements of what the examiner wants you to write for example in an advanced performance management exam an entire question is given to you and the requirement says specifically tell me whether the chosen kpis or kras are correct or not they are not asking you to comment on whether the company has met its kra or K kpi they are specifically asking you i am evaluating this company basis 1 2 3 4 5 key performance indicators are those performance indicators the right set for this company so if you do not read and interpret the question in your case study exams you might end up writing a four page answer which will not yield or give you the kind of marks that you think it should have given you so please ensure that you read the requirement in a case study properly and then you go to the relevant exhibit and scenario so the last and the most important tip at no point should you let that tension cripple you during an exam say you don't know a portion worth 10 marks or 15 marks fine you don't know what you do know is a part that counts for 85 to 90 marks in your paper why not focus on what you know and do that best instead of getting burdened and crippled by the 10 mark portion which you anyway won't be in a position to answer that part so focus on what you know and I want to conclude it by saying you have got it you have prepared well all the best you still have time give it your best shot and I am sure you will be successful in this attempt if you have liked what I said just now what we discussed just now please hit on like please do share the video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel any queries that you have with respect to the part that we discussed or any other queries regarding the professional courses that we offer please feel free to drop a comment in the chat box below our experts will reach out to you